everybody, welcome to Franny Square. Today we're going to be making this mosaic headband slash neck warmer. This was born out of a request from my husband who is very outdoorsy and in the winter he normally wears a headband that keeps his ears warm. And he came to me with his headband and he said, could you make something about one and a half times this width so that I could wear it around my head and it would really cover my ears, but also if I drop it around my neck, I can use it as a neck warmer. So I said, sure, I could do that. And then I was thinking, how could I make it interesting? And I always thought that mosaic patterns were very interesting looking. I, I always really liked the look of that. The one thing I hate about doing mosaic crochet is the number of ends that you normally have to weave in at the end. That is not the case with this project. This project is done in the round. So you carry your yarn with you the whole way. The only ends you have are at the very beginning and at the very end. So it's a quick project, it's easy. I think it would make a great gift. It's really nice looking. And you can see he wanted blue on one side and red on the other. You could finish it off to have the same color on both sides, whatever you choose. As always with my patterns, you can use whatever yarn, whatever hook you want. I will give you the multiples and you'll just make it to fit your head. I used Patton's 100% worsted wool and it's a four weight yarn and I used a size six crochet hook. But again, you can use whatever you like. Just grab something out of your stash and make yourself some headbands or some friends and family some headbands. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started and let's make this headband slash neck warmer. Okay, so here's the headband slash neck warmer. My husband wanted it blue on one side, red on the other. If you like things more symmetrical, you can also end with the same color that you start with. Totally up to you. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is, I, as I said, I used the Patton's 100% wool. It's a four weight yarn. I used a size six hook, a pair of scissors, and a yarn needle, and that's all you'll need. Okay, so choose the color you wanna start with. This time I'm gonna start with the red color. I think you might be able to see that a little bit better. You're gonna chain a multiple of four plus one. So I'm going to chain 65 chains. Now, depending on the yarn you're using and the hook you're using and the size of your head, you may choose a different number of chains. Just make it a multiple of four plus one. Okay, so we're going to do 65 chains. Okay, so I've chained 65 and now all I'm going to do is go into the second chain from the hook and make a single crochet and I'm gonna do that in each chain all the way back, and that'll leave me with 64 stitches. Now, I said we're gonna do this in the round, but I don't slip stitch together until after I have my single crochets. I find it easier to slip stitch it together without twisting it when there's a row of single crochets. So that's all you're gonna do is single crochet all the way back on this row, and then we will start putting this together in the round. I just finished with my last single crochet and now I want to slip stitch and make this so that I can work in the round. So I want to make sure it's not twisted anywhere and I want to bring this around like this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hook and put it through the front of the first single crochet there Okay, like that. Now I have the two ends on and it's not twisted at all, as you can see. And now I'm gonna introduce my second color. So I'm gonna grab my blue and I'm just going to take my blue over my hook and bring it through both of those, make sure I'm not grabbing the red there, there we go, and I'm going to drop my tail and just chain, 
Okay, so now it's attached and I can pull to keep it tight, pull on both uh, yarns there, make sure it's tight. Okay, once I have my blue attached, all I'm gonna do is work single crochets in each stitch in the back loop only. Okay, so normally you would work underneath both of those loops there. We're gonna go into the back loop only. And the reason for that is we want the front loop hanging so that in future rows we can grab it. And if that doesn't make sense to you yet, you'll see what I mean as we go. So you're just gonna go around and crochet into the back loop only in each stitch. And I'll meet you at the end of the round. Okay, so I'm coming around to the last stitch here. I'm going to go into this last stitch, do my single crochet. And now what I'm gonna to wanna to do is switch again back to my red color. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. All right, so here I am at the last stitch. I'll pull it a little tighter there. Now you see here, this is the chain. We don't wanna go into that. We wanna go into the first stitch when we're slip stitching. So I'm gonna go into the back loop of that first stitch and then I'm going to take my red and I'm going to pull through both of those loops like that and then just pull it tight. Make sure you pull it tight by using the ends. All right, so now what I want to do is this is the back loop of that first stitch where I slip stitched into. I'm going to do a single crochet right there with my red color and that's going to be my first stitch of the round. All right, now what I'm going to do, that was the first stitch, I'm going to do two more single crochets in the back loop only. One, two, and then in the fourth stitch, this is why it's a multiple of four, I'm going to do a double crochet into this front loop that we left hanging out before, okay? So you want to make sure you get the one right below the stitch that is your next stitch. So I'm gonna wrap my yarn around and go into that front loop there. Grab my yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And you can see that makes that line there. And that's what creates this pattern. It's these lines that are dropping down, okay? So again, I'm gonna do three single crochets into the back loop only. In the next three stitches. And then in the fourth stitch, I'm going to grab that front loop that's down there. I'm going to do a double crochet down and grab this front loop that's hanging out there and do a double crochet. Okay, and so this is what it's going to look like as you go around. Three single crochets into back loops and then a double crochet into that front loop in the row below. Two, three, and then going into that front loop in the row below. There we go. And double crochet. And you're gonna to wanna to do that all the way around and then I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so I'm coming around to the end. I just did a double crochet. I have my last four stitches here one, two, three, and in the very last one, I'm gonna double crochet down into this loop below. Okay, now you might be saying to yourself, look at this, this is not attached here. That's okay. In the end, when we sew in our ends, we're gonna make sure that that attaches right there. So that's not a problem. Okay, so now we're at the end. We just finished with a double crochet. So what we're gonna do is we are going to go into our first, the back loop of our first stitch there. Okay, and we're gonna bring up our blue now. We're switching colors, just like that. All right, make sure you tighten it each round and try to keep your yarns from tangling. Every once in a while I have to untangle my balls, they get twisted up, but I always keep my work up top here 
so I can switch the colors easily. All right, now for the next row, okay, so I'm gonna chain to attach that, and I'm gonna do a single crochet right in that same stitch, the back loop of that stitch there, all right? Now, from here, it's very easy because you can look at your work and see where you need to put the double crochet. We're gonna do the double crochet always right before the last double crochet. So I'm gonna do one in the back, single crochet in the back loop here. And now for this stitch, I want to grab this and do a double crochet. So I'm putting my double crochet right next to the previous one. Okay, just like that. Now in the top of the double crochet, I'm going to go into the back loop only, do a single crochet, two, now we're back to the counts of four, three, and my fourth count will be right before that other double crochet. So I'm going to do my double crochet there, like that. Okay, so that's what that's starting to look like. So now I'm going to continue all the way around and I will do my double crochets right before the previous double crochet. Just like that. And you can see the pattern is starting to form because each double crochet is a row higher and that's what makes it step up. Okay, so continue that all the way around, and I will meet you at the end of this round. Okay, so I just came around. I just did my last double crochet right before this double crochet. Okay, and now I'm gonna go into the back loop of this double crochet. Do a single crochet there. I'm gonna skip where I had the chain and I'm gonna go into the back loop of the first single crochet. Drop that yarn and bring up my red again and pull it tight. Now I'm gonna chain and then do a single crochet into that back loop there that I just attached to. You can see it's looking great even right where the seam should be. You just can't see it. Okay, now I just have to keep track. Here was my last double crochet. So this first stitch that I'm working in needs to be a double crochet. So I'm going to do the double crochet down into that front loop and pull that up. And then from here, again, I'm gonna be doing three single crochets into the back loop and a double crochet in this last one. And you notice the color I'm working with is always the color of the stitch I'm going into here. It's the same color. There we go. Because it's a row below. And you see the pattern starting to come up just like that. So easy. So you're gonna continue all the way around, again, doing the same thing with this color. And the thing that I wanna caution you about is as you come around, you really have to look and see where your next double crochet is gonna be. On the next round, our double crochet is right there at the join. So I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. So continue this round. Keep going around with your three single crochets and the fourth double crochet right before the previous rounds double crochet. And then I'll meet you at the end. Okay, I'm coming to the end here. I'm doing my last single crochet. And now I'm gonna skip the chain and go into the back loop of the first stitch there. And I'm gonna switch my colors again Bring my blue up, there we go, and tighten. Okay, now you can see, normally I would do a single crochet here, except my double crochet is right here. So I want a blue double crochet in front of that. 
So instead of doing a single crochet here, I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to go down into the front loop down here. If I can get into that. <laughs> it's not as easy right at the seam there. And then do my double crochet. Okay, so you want to make sure that your pattern is continuing over the seam and that's what makes it look so seamless. All right. So really pay attention to where your double crochets are. The most difficult part's gonna be when you're doing it right at the seam. But you saw it wasn't difficult at all. I just needed to know that my first stitch, rather than being the single crochet, is the double crochet. And now I'll just continue on doing my single crochets for three. Like that. And my double crochet, which comes right before my red double crochet there. And my pattern is continuing just like that. Okay, so continue that and I'll meet you at the end of this round. Okay, so I'm coming to the end of this row here. Two, three, single crochets. And you see I already have the double there, so it's three stitches and then my double. Now, I'm going to show you here how you can finish off rather than me going through a whole other headband. If I were to do my last round and say I wanted to do it in the blue, I would just slip stitch like that and then go around and do a single crochet in each stitch like that. Okay, and then slip stitch at the end and you'll be done. Now, if I wanted to switch colors, let me come back here. If I wanted to switch colors, I am going to slip stitch my red in like this. Just like we've been doing all along. Pull it tight. I'm going to do a single crochet right there. And then I would do a regular single crochet. I'm going under both loops for the finishing round like that. So, and then just go all the way around doing that and slip stitch at the end and fasten off your end. So either way, whichever color you want to end in. And you can see here, once I sew this, once I weave in this end, I'll do it pulling it through here and that'll just attach that nice and neatly and you will not see a seam. Your pattern continues. That's the beauty of this. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. If you have any questions at all, please put them in the comments below or send me an email to my email address at frannysquare at gmail.com. I will get back to you as quickly as I can. And if you do make this headband, be sure to send pictures for the crochet and tell which reminds me, I'm just about to film the next crochet and tell, so that should be out within the next few days. I know it's been a while, but over the holidays, I got less submissions. So I just waited until we had enough. And now I'm gonna put out the next crochet and tell. Okay, as always, thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to make it your own and I'll see you soon. <laughs>